Hey everybody, Tiny House German here. I thought I stepped on some poop or something, but I didn't. Um, just a quick check in and forgive how I'm looking. I know I look a hot mess. I feel a hot mess. I need to go take a shower. But I've been sitting in a freight liner all day today. I got there about 6 a.m. Um, my appointment was at 7 a.m., but you know, I like to be early. To me, early is on time. So I got there at 6 a.m. and I sat there till like 5.45 or something. Um, but before I get into all that, Stewie has a message for you guys. He wants to thank everybody for wishing him a happy birthday on YouTube and on Instagram. He really appreciates it. And he had a really good day. I was not um, driving at all that day. It was kind of a day off. I got new tires put on, well, four new tires. My tire fund here at Prime was up to like 3200 and something dollars um, and these tires are expensive so I came here thinking okay I can get all six new tires and I didn't realize how expensive they were um, I know when I first got to prime like when I was going through PSD we had the um, what do you call it the little they like have like a little tire portion of the PSD at least in Salt Lake City and I met with the tire guy I think I even have a video of like the tire guy kind of explaining different things um, way down in my playlist when I first started trucking but he back then said that the steer tires were about 400 and the drive tires were about 700 so that's the amount in my head I was going with so I was like okay I should be able to get all six of my tires um, cause it was time for new tires, but, and because it's about to, you know, winter's about to hit, um, some of them people in California, like in Donner Pass. And then I think somewhere in Oregon, I seen where it was already snowing. So like winter and I hear it's going to be a bad winter. I don't really know. You know, that people say that every year. I don't know. Um, but I'm just gearing up for winter. So I wanted to make sure I had new tires on and everything, but I could only afford four new tires and I got two new, my rear rear drive tires. Um, well, not rear rear. My rear drive tires, I got those two replaced. They're $900 each. What well, actually, they're $880. I just rounded up to $900 because what's $20 when you're talking about that much money, right? And I got two new steer tires that are $430 each. Wait, is it $430 or $430? 40 something like that they're right under five four hundred and fifty dollars each um and my front drive tires are the ones that i did not replace but the tire guy said that i still have sixty thousand miles on them of tread so by time that comes hopefully my um i have like maybe six hundred dollars left and because i think i spent 24 something when i added it all up on my calculator it was 24 something um that i spent on new tires i still have like i said my tire fund was at like 32 something 32 70 or something like that um so i have a little bit of money left in there and hopefully by the time the 60,000 miles is up i will have built up more money and i can get those two replaced but the four that i got they should last me to the end of my lease my lease is up December 6, 2020. So a little over a year from now. And I didn't have brand new spanking tires when I got this truck, but they were pretty new, but not brand new. Um, the person that drove the 60,000 miles on my truck before I got it, um, you know, of course the tires were new when they got the truck. So they were like 65,000 miles on the tires already. And they've lasted me until now. So um, these new tires should last me until I turn in my truck. And obviously once I, before then I'll have to get my, the two I didn't replace, I'll have to get those replaced. But we did that on Stewie's birthday and I am here at the Springfield terminal. I feel like for a person that says I hate coming to the terminal, the last, like when I actually posted one of my last videos, I realized that like the last few videos on my page, my channel whatever like I think like four four of them or something were all at Springfield and I was like why I'm have been spending way too much time here 
and yeah but this time so anyways I made an appointment like last week sometime to come to Springfield on Sunday I actually got here Saturday night but I drove all that all Saturday so I won't really count Saturday as sitting here because I just happened to get to my receivers and I had exactly three hours left on my clock and I was about three hours away from here so I went ahead and tried to make it and I made it with like four or five minutes left on my clock so I won't really count Saturday but on Sunday I had an appointment at the tire shop so um that's why I'm here and I got that taken care of but other than that me and Stewie all day we like walked a lot he had some doggy yogurt I got him some treats from um from a doggy boutique so he's he had a good birthday um we he didn't have to worry about like chilling while I drove like he got to spend the whole day with me just hanging out and stuff so he had a good birthday um and when I came in to because you guys know that break safety week is that what it's called I think it's called that um it was started between Sunday and started between Sunday and I think next this coming Sunday because today is actually Tuesday and so what Prime has been doing is all the trailers that come in they've like been changing out tires and everything like I had to wait in line to get through the inbound because they were changing all the tires in the trailers ahead of me and so while they change out the tires they have like a little person looking at the truck tires and stuff so he noticed that I had an oil pan gasket leak for a girl that doesn't know anything about cars I've been remembering that pretty well um, and Prime Shop doesn't fix those so they told me that I would need to go to Freightliner to get it done he said it actually wasn't leaking but he was like it's literally right about to leak like you might want to just go ahead and get it taken care of before it turns into a bigger issue so I said okay I'm gonna be here anyway so I messaged my road assist this video is getting way too long already I messaged my road assist um, to make an appointment at Freightliner for me and Freightliner is literally just like a mile up the road here from this Freightliner um, in Springfield so they the road assist person said okay Monday morning um, go in as early as you can like as soon as you wake up on Monday go in and they said they would try to work you in so that's what I did yesterday got up super early maybe five o'clock because this um what is it called the freight liner out here in Springfield is the 20 one of the 24 hour freight liners so I woke up super early like four something and I got there about five o'clock checked in with the freight liner people at the desk told them you know road assist told me that you guys would try to work me in they said that there will be no point like there's no time to even work you in the earliest thing we have is Tuesday which is today at 7 a.m. so they said instead of just sitting here waiting around <coughs> they said if you want to sit here and wait around you can but it is zero probability that we're gonna have time to get to you and I did see how many like all the bays were full there were trucks with tags on them like waiting to go in so I could understand that they were busy um, so I just said okay I'll go back to the terminal and I'll bring it back tomorrow morning before 7 because she said 7 o'clock is when they'll have time for me and she actually put me in a time slot so I guess I had like an appointment it wasn't no more working you in so I got there this morning early about 6 o'clock checked in all that oh these dragonflies oh my gosh oh my gosh okay I think I'm safe they're like bats they're huge but um checked in sat there all day like I said originally at the beginning of the video so they fixed my oil pan gasket leak they fixed that really quick but I have been having another issue and since I was already at Freightliner um, well, I actually talked to the tractor shop here at Prime and I was telling them what my issue was and she said well if you're already going to go to Freightliner for your gasket leak you might as well have them look at it because they would probably be better equipped um, to deal with it than we will but if you want to bring it here you can you know if you want to take it to two different shops that's fine but she made sense what she was saying on the phone so I went ahead and said okay I'll have Freightliner look at it um, but what my issue is and I'll try to put a little video because I did take a video of it is my air brakes they will like I'll have sufficient um, pressure built up in my air brakes but my light and buzzer will come on just randomly 
like it doesn't happen all the time every time I turn the truck on or anything like that sometimes it happens like if I'm just kind of slowly driving around the yard like if I'm at a shipper receiver or a truck stop or something and then sometimes it'll happen when I'm literally like in cruise control cruising down the highway and when it comes on my truck is not actually losing any pressure but the buzzer and the um the little where it says brake air light on your dash will just come on and like I look at my gauge and I'm not losing any pressure like I don't know I didn't know what was like what is prompting it to come on but you know it's supposed to the buzzer and the light is supposed to come on like if you do your air brake test it comes on at or around 60 psi like so when your pressure drops down to around 60 psi that's when you will get the little light notification and your buzzer you know there's a sound in your truck that'll go off to let you know that you are at a dangerously low air pressure you know and then the next thing that happens if you get even lower is your air brakes will actually engage or they'll pop out <clears throat> engaging the brakes or releasing setting the brakes however you want to say that um but my air pressure would be like 125 you know like 130 115 like it would come on it would be well over 100 psi and that buzzer and light would come on and i was like what is going on so i told freightliner about it and i you know they said okay we'll look at it so literally all day they have been like changing out sensors i think there's like three separate sensors that have something to do with the light and buzzer coming on as an indication of the air brakes but um they would change a sensor test drive it it would do it then they would change another sensor test drive it it would do it they like did some updates to the computer they would test drive it and they would do it like they kept trying to fix you know one thing at a time test drive it so finally at like four o'clock because stewie started getting like because you know we weren't in the truck because they were in and out of the truck test driving it and because it's the air brake and the sense the buzzer and stuff like they kept having to be in the truck to see if it was gonna like what it was doing or whatever so we weren't able to sit in the truck we sat in the driver's lounge like literally all day stewie started getting restless around four o'clock so i went down and i asked the service desk because the first time i checked on it was maybe like 11 o'clock and he said well the guys are going to be going to lunch soon and it'll probably be ready early afternoon so i gave it to four o'clock and still hadn't heard anything um, so I went to check on it and he let me know that um, they fixed a couple things and every time they test drive it, it still does it. And it actually, for me, it wasn't even happening every day. It wasn't like a daily occurrence that was happening, but it would happen enough where I was like, okay, this is a problem. It wasn't just like a kind of one time thing and like, you know, I just call it a fluke. Like it happened enough where I was like, okay, I should need to have this looked at. Um, just because if the buzzer's coming on too soon, like, you know, if I don't know 100% that that would be a ticketable offense, but with the brake weekend stuff coming, like if I get stopped and I have to do a air brake test or something, if my buzzer is not, it's supposed to come on at 60 at or around 60 PSI, if it's coming on way before then, that can essentially make me fail my air brake test, right? I mean, because it's coming on way before that. Like it's coming on in a place where you have adequate PSI, but your buzzer is still coming on. Like, I don't know if that would be, I'm thinking in my head that that would be an issue for a DLT officer. I'm not positive because it's not like I walked up to one and asked them. But to me, that's something that's like, no, I want my air brakes because that's like my life or death type of thing. I want that to be working properly. So yeah, but um, when the guy did it he was like it was doing it like as he was test driving it he said it was actually doing it i feel like there's something on me that it was actually doing it like every couple minutes so for them it was doing it a lot more than it was doing it for me so um he told me that so this was around four o'clock i asked him like you know what's up going on with it he went and talked to the, the guy that was working on it that's what he told him so he said it might be a wiring issue but they're got they have one more sensor to try out or whatever to see if the first one they did was bad or so, i don't know but he said if they're not finished in the next hour and a half the guy that really is really good with the air brakes goes home at six o'clock so you might have to bring it in tomorrow so at like 5 30 5 40 ish they called me over the loudspeaker and said your truck is ready so i went down and he was like well good thing you don't have to come back tomorrow because 
I feel like there's bugs because um, your truck, they think they, they're they 90% sure that they fixed your air brakes. And he said they changed every sensor. They updated like every, he didn't say the word updated. He said, what did he say? There was a word that he used, but they did something to like all the computer systems that have anything to do with the air brakes or whatever. And he said he test drive, drove it and it didn't do it at all so he said i think it's 90 percent sure but he, obviously you we won't know until you like actually get out there and put on some miles to see because you know like i said it, it does it sometimes when i'm just like in cruise control going down the freeway like been driving for a couple hours and all of a sudden it'll just start buzzing and the light will come on um so he said you know you'll you'll be the true test of it but he said as he test drove it around it didn't do it after he like changed out whatever third sensor so i said okay and i felt confident that i didn't have to go back tomorrow and i was going to come back here go to outbound and get my load going out well i told you that it's about a mile up the street like straight up the street um to the freight liner the mile that it took for me to get back to the terminal it did it three times so as soon as i got into the terminal and my truck stopped i called the guy mike at freightliner which is he's a really nice guy um and i told him because he was joking with me he was like don't take this the wrong way but i don't want to see you again because if i see you again and that means something it didn't work whatever so i said it's the girl you didn't want to see again you're gonna be seeing me <laughs> so i told him like it happened three times on the way back so he said bring it in at 6 a.m is the earliest he gets there at 6 a.m and he said he'll the guy i guess whoever the guy is that knows the air brakes he said he'll be in super early tomorrow so um bring it in at 6 a.m so that's what i'm gonna be doing 6 a.m tomorrow i will be at freightliner hopefully i'm not sitting there all day i keep looking around because like it's what's this time of day when the sun's going down dusk yeah it's dusk and i think this is like mosquito time or something and i see um there is like these huge dragonflies that are just like having a party up out here but yes yeah, so i'm just checking in letting you guys know really i came on here to tell you this stewie said thank you so much i didn't want to wait too long for that and i haven't really been making videos because i have been here um not really much to talk about because nothing's been happening it's been like relatively quiet i'm kind of parked if anybody from here knows where the training pad is over there and like it's this lot where i've noticed that they've been putting i think some of the pedigree trucks like trucks that are for sale that maybe can't fit over in the leasing lot um because a lot of these trucks even though you see a lot of people they're empty and like nobody's in them nobody's been in them you can't see the dust on the trucks but i can see it um there might be a couple of the trucks in the line that like me like i'm parked here because it's super quiet over here but i like it because the grass is literally right there so i can bring stewie out the truck every couple hours i walk him i like walk him down the road where the training pad is but that's where i've been sitting um and this is kind of my usual place that i like to sit i don't really like to be by the millennium in the middle of everybody in and out of their trucks all the time and stuff i like to be by the grass back here in the quiet so if you're ever looking for me and know i'm here this is where i'm at um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what was going on with two tanks but i'm hoping that they fix it up tomorrow i might actually this is a long video i'm gonna be I'll talk about that in another video. I might have to post that as a separate video. I was going to do something in the truck um, and add a clip here, but this video is already 18 minutes and I feel like I haven't even been saying anything special. So I'm sorry. Sometimes I like just, I guess one, one of my videos, I said, I don't just bump my gums, but maybe I do because I really don't feel like air brake issue is 18 minutes worth of talking, but I'm looking at the timer and that's what it says. So, okay, guys, I hope everybody has a good night, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.